Very, very tough environment of racehorse riding. Bernadette Cooper, she can mix it with the best of the boys down here. Eight, two, ten, and four. And as far as um, miners were concerned, Coablo got home well, but her winning record's pretty ordinary. She's had one out of 19, so I wouldn't be recommending her to follow. Here are the official devies as the winner comes back. I was only commenting earlier, uh, it's interesting, Timidity trained by Paul Sutherland, but uh, some of the owners uh, have been in horses um, for quite a long span of time, particularly the Norman family, which goes back to Never Despair, and the number of grey horses that they have raced is uh, quite remarkable. Whether they like greys, never to spare, very good horse was a grey. And this particular filly by Bucks Pride from Gentle Pre uh, Breeze, she's a beautiful grey. She really is lovely. Those of you, uh, well, if you're watching on the sky at the moment, you'll get a shot of sand down. But I'm just watching on the local monitor here. She's a lovely mare, that will filly. All right, Tote Divvies, number eight, five, ten, 180, number two, two dollars, number 10, 180, 16, 10, Quinella, 2750 exact, $140 90 trifecta, $674.70. The 82104 margins, a long head, a short neck, 11135, 3534 on the fifth in Sydney. Righto, Ian. Yeah, Ian mentioned uh, a horse there called Never Despair, uh, which was also a big grey mare and carried those very same colours green with the wh white cross sashes and the black cap. Rodney Quinn used to ride Never Despair in most of her wins and uh, a winning double for Bernadette Cooper at the Saturday Metropolitan Meeting is a real feather in uh, Bernie's cap. Now Cheltenham we've got a protest fourth against third across the line it was five two six four rider of the four has lodged an objection against the six alleged interference at the 300 meters mark. Now the winner trained by Paul Sutherland uh, who's in the picture there now chatting with Bernadette Cooper and Paul Sutherland was the first trainer to recognize the talents of this remarkable young lady in Queensland quite some seasons ago now. Let's go back to Sandown. Last minute thoughts from Alf Matthews. Thanks, John. Tricky race this with no confidence. I've put Thong and Pushbike on top here. Has drifted out some two points on course. Very short on the tote. Doesn't represent value from betting at home. However, I'm indicated and being led here by Reese Wheeler. He thought the run was better than what it appeared last time. So I'm more than happy to take his word for it. I've put number eight, Inca Muller, in to run second. Has travelled over very well. Drawn perfectly on the outside. One simply the best favourite for 4170 to Wardski for 6190. Three Dunsinane for 5190. For Madawi Gold, 17 and 350. Five Rhythm Prince, 39 and 11. Six Switched On Time, 720 to 70. Seven Magnum Last, 14 and 3. Down to 9 November Victory for Adrian Robinson, 11 and 3. 10 Absolute Lure, 14 and 3 and 11. Angie's Gold, 17 and 5. 12 Out, 13 a Scratching, 14 a Late Scratching Brandy Storm. One Simply the Best Favourite, 440. Alan Robinson, the rider for 3. Race 5 selections are 1, 3, 2 and 6. Correct weight, Rose Hill. Out the good line to Skilling. Got his head up at the start and lost a little ground and one of the first out here for Latimo Flashline. Shattered Love and Demontage pushing forward from Lady Wild settling down. Corvain out wider on the track. Thong and push bike back inside. Natch and Tudor Skilling as they go to the 950 metre mark. Demontage out three deep and Filatimo the middle. They have the lead from Flashline dropping in behind them. Corvain further out with Inca Muller the centre. A length and a half. Shattered Love from Lady Wild. Two further back in the race then. Runs to win inside it. Thong and push bike. A length Skilling and a length to Natch last of all. At the 650 metre to mark it's Filatimo on the inside and Demontage a length into Corvain a length and a half in Kamala the inside flash line one lady wild further back shattered love followed by Skilling Thong and push bike saves ground on the fence from runs to win and Natch when they turn 500 out to Montage going up to Filatimo two and a half Corvain Thong and push bike up on the inside making some ground in Kamala and lady wild further out and further back shattered love and Skilling at the 300 Filatimo again got the front Corvain after it then Thong and push bike starting to push through and further out, Lady Wild and Inkamala. They're across the track here. Corvain out wide. Inkamala coming at Corvain with Lady Wild. Inkamala on the outside in front. And Inkamala, four for four at Sandown. Gets up to beat Lady Wild and Corvain. Fourth close runs to win or thong and push bike from on the inside. Then Filatimo. Behind them, Shattered Love with Natch, followed by Tamontage. And a good gap to Flash Line and Skilling back near the tail. Eight Inkamala for Michelle Payne, 660 on 210. Six Lady Wild, 223. Corvain, 4.30.
Number eight, Inca Mutter. Four appearances at Sandown for four wins. It has finished too well out in the middle to, uh, to gain the day on the line. Number eight, Inca Muller, ridden by Michelle Payne, gets up to win from number six, Lady Wild, ridden by Link Robertson. And number three is third, Corvain, ridden by Fabian Valella. Eight, six and three. Eight, six, three here at Sandown. With Inca Muller getting up to win about a half neck in the run to the line over Lady Wild and about a half to three quarters away. Third is Corvain, who was caught wide most of the way. The winner, 6.30 and $2.00. Second... All right, the full toad, eight Inca Muller, Michelle Payne, 660, 210. Six Lady Wild, 220, three Corvain, 430. The Quinella, 2420, Exacta, 4430. Philotima, officially fourth. The Trifecta, 863, 823, 10. And the first four, 863 and 4. And the dividend, $2,754.60. Tab Dividends brought to you by Fury Max, the used car supermarket, 92 Parramatta Road, Lidcombe. Over 300 quality used cars now in stock. At race, away six openers, two paced and 180, three out, four blazing arch, 13, serpentine, 11, down to seven, Chiefs Deputy, 670. Lady Pavlova, 550, Panorama, 32, Regal Alliance, 24, Gallant Pride at 40, Mandinka, 48, and Ashin, 34. Pastem, number 2, $1.80, the early favourite, tips 2, 7, 8, and 5, and race 6, Rose Hill at 3 o'clock. And correct weight, the Gold Coast, race 5 and 4, 1, 10 and 7. Correct weight is brought to you by VB Stubbies, on special, only $29.99. Race 2, Belmont, 1, Rescuer, 2, 10, 1, 20, and favourite, 2, Kennedy, 18, and 4, 3, Kestrel, Call, 7, 60 and 270. Four is our pal Bluey, 13 and 4. Five, Percival Puddle Duck, 31 and 7. Six, Relane, 13 and 3. Seven, Mr. Jingles, 28 and 5. Eight, Dreaming of Money, 10 and 3. Nine, Island Queen, 13 and 270. Ten, Justin Kosicki, 14 and 340. Eleven, Queen of Spirits, 59 and 16. And 12, Street Jester, 28 and 6. 13 comes out. Selections 198, Late Mile 1, Rescuer. And a watch on Relay, number 6. As uh, first four numbers, Newcastle are 10, 6, 9 and 4. Four. Now almost set at uh, Doombin. Sun kisses two ten a dollar forty. Ten absolute lure at Newcastle has paid twenty five twenty four fifty six switched on time one seventy nine November victory four twenty Quinella sixty dollars one seventy eight sixty exacta one thousand eight hundred and seventy two seventy trifecta. And Rulands are dropping back short out to the start. Craig Lee Bells is going quickly, and Zanetti is showing good speed in the centre. Dancing Lou pressing forward, but off the track. Jazz Fund is just behind them. Next on the inside is Canadian courting, followed by Mighty Icon. A length further back then to Battler in the centre. Sun Kisses is back off the pace today. She's worse than midfield. She's on the inside of our excess and then a hope to glory. Ned Skay is a little bit wide. Rue Lancer, Felix the man, well back and nosy man is last of all. Jazz Fun doing it pretty easily coming down the side. He's striding to a clear lead. Jazz Fun by two on Canadian courting and then Zanetti the outside. Craigley Bells a length away fourth but starting to go forward three deep on the bend. Marty Icon is next on the inside. Sun Kisses giving them a mild start as they straighten up. She's seventh on the inside. Now coming across their heels, coming to the outside and then Dancing Lou and Ned's gay. Jazz Fund is the leader. They're in the straight. 250 metres to go. It's Jazz Fund a length on Canadian Courting who's coming home hard on the outside. Mighty Icon is up to third and then Dancing Lou. Jazz Fund is in front. 100 metres to go. He's going to hang on, Jazz Fund. Jazz Fund is too good in the run to the line. Canadian Courting or Mighty Icon in a photo second and third. Dancing Lou fourth then Nosy Man, our excess. Followed by Sun Kisses. Rude Lance the next one in and then Craig Lee Bells. For the back Felix the man Ned Skay and then Battlers and Eddie and Hope to Glory. Number seven Jazz Fund for Gary Baker 1240 and 320 either one mighty icon 340 or 10 Canadian courting 220. Numbers are coming up now seven one and ten seven Jazz Fund the winner. I'll we'll check the fourth number meanwhile let's uh, go back for those totes with Matt. 10 Absolute Lure, 25, 24, 50, 6 switched on time, 170, 9 November victory, 420. Quinella's paid $60, the exacta 178.60, trifecta 1069, 1872.70, the first four, 1069 and four, $8,234 and 30 cents. Margins two and a half by a half head, 52.36, 34.09 the sectional. Absolute Lure for Nigel Seymour, riding well, taking out race five. 
And at Doombin Race 5, it's 7 1 10, Jazz Fun, Gary Baker, 12 40 and 3 21, Mighty Icon, uh, 3 40, 10 Canadian, courting 2 20, Quinella, 56 80, Exacta, 149 20, Trifecta 7 1 10, 1547 10, the extra double 4 and 7 is 62.20, special dividend 480 in the first four to come. Adjust your guide. Open time at 8.40 uh, with a very healthy hold of 241,000. Now, we've got time to check the Doombin details on race six and first up the ratings, goal catcher at 100 and long odds on on Unitab. Vivid Miss at 93, Sentona 93 and Century's Gift at 83. The Victorian train Pastem goes. Short odds, two dollars ten. Here's Ian. Thanks, John. And they're moving in for race number six on the program. The favourite number two Pastem, two ten one forty. And the second pick in New South Wales, number eight at six twenty. That's Lady Pavlova, number seven, six thirty, and that is Chief's Deputy. Previous race, Timidity, the winner. And uh, just repeating the popular pick at 210, number two, and that is Pastem, Justin Sheehan. Timidity, one race five, number eight, Bernadette Cooper, B2 Viejo, 10 Coablo, and four ran fourth. Other winners today have been Oakfield Duke, Cheem, Gleam, and Warrior Trader. Now, we've got Gallon Pride to move in here with Ash Sin, Chief's Deputy, and Panorama. Little money at longer odds to say that Panorama may run a race. But uh, all the rage is paced them. Toe 210, just marginally better here on track at the moment. Now here's Jamie Innes coming in on Gallon Pride. And Panorama with Nathan Cumberland aboard is being led forward now. Goes up to the, near enough to the outside and all is in readiness for a start. This is the sixth of the day, the Aussie Home Loans Handicap from Rose Hill Racecourse. And they'll be away at any tick of the clock. Paste them a short priced favourite off this time. And one of the best to break the line was Ashton, commencing well. Lady Pavlova between them, third is Gallon Pride, and then Blazing Arch. Panorama deep, followed by Paste them in the middle. Serpentine on the rails, and then a line of three man Dinka wide. Regal Alliance in the middle, and Chief's Deputy close up over on the inside. They travel 400 metres now and prepare to swing the first corner. And Ashton is the leader, clearly a length and a half on Blazing Arch. Lady Pavlova on the rails is third. Gallon Pride is fourth, followed by Serpentine, and travelling out pretty wide next is Panorama, followed closely by Pastem. Over on the inside of the favourite is Chief Deputy, Mandinka second last, and Absolute is Regal Alliance, working down the back of the track. And the leader clear cut is Ashton, out by a couple of lengths on Blazing Arch. In third posse, Panorama, she had to do some work. Lady Pavlova is fourth, and then comes Gallon Pride, Serpentine, Pastem, who's back about eight lengths off the lead from Mandinka, Chief Deputy, and still absolute as Regal Alliance. They go by the halfway at the 1,000 marker and work out of the back straight of the Rose Hill course, and it's Ascend out on its own, about three lengths or so now. Second posse is taken by Blazing Arch. Third is Panorama. Length and a half to Lady Pavlova, followed by Mandinka, and then Gallon Pride paced them. Serpentine is wedged away. Second last is Chief Deputy. At a couple of lengths, two Regal Alliance as they come along to the 600 marker at Ascend. Two lengths on Blazing Arch, a length to Panorama. A gallon pride Mandinka and now Pastem being called upon by Justin Sheehan as they round the home corner and Ash Sind at big odds giving those that have taken same a sight and Ash Sind straightens up a length and a half Blazing Arch holding in Panorama a length and a half to Pastem still about two lengths off the lead Lady Pavlova into the clear and is coming home well with Regal Alliance they flatten past the 200 Regal Alliance on the outside Bernadette Cooper looking for three and Bernie's got to get it Regal Alliance to Lady Pavlova, late Chief's deputy. Well done, Bernie. Regal Alliance from uh, Lady Pavlova and the Chief's deputy, Serpentine and Blazing Arch. And then a break to Pastem, and then came Panorama, followed by Ascend, Gallon Pride next to last, and Mandinka at the tail of the field. Bernie strikes again. Number 10, Regal Alliance, has returned $17.20 for the win and $3.70 for the place. She is some rider. My our poetic prince, wasn't he a good uh, stayer? Out of Miss Doolittle, trained by Maxie Lees at Broadmeadow for D.P. McNamara, T. Webster and M. Pavlinovich. 
and has clocked one plus a bit more 20503 sectionally 3593 it's 10875 regular lines Bernadette Cooper Eight, Lady Pavlova, Danny Beasley, second, trained by Guy Walter, $1.80. Uh, number seven, Chief Deputy, third, Scott Pollard for Graham Begg, is paid $2. Number five, Serpentine, was the official fourth. Oh, there's not much more we could add there. Paste them, well, paste them. Had every conceivable hope. But Regal Alliance, been mixing its form, uh, hasn't been doing a great deal. But uh, today, in what was a race of... Uh, not a lot of depth, was able to put his best foot forward and he, aided by a very, very adept ride by Bernie Cooper, has got the money by officially a half and a length. So that's a length and a half. Maths aren't too bad, are they? A long head between second and third. A length and a half, a long head, 20403, 3593. And here are the official details. Tote wise, a number 10 at 1720 and 370. Number 8, 180. And number 7 paid $2. Quinella, 66 even. Exact at 143.60. The trifecta, $1,027. The 10875 first four, $5,310.70. And the daily double special div. With River to Me out of race 7 has paid $18 and 10 cents 10875 and it's Bernie's day here at Rose Hill yes congratulations to her uh, she's ridden several doubles on metropolitan tracks in the last 12 months but that is certainly her first Saturday metropolitan treble and uh, it's a tremendous effort uh, by this remarkable little lady Bernadette Cooper an expatriate Queenslander who decided to give it a shot in Sydney and uh, she has succeeded beyond her wildest dreams, I'd imagine. Regal Alliance, 17, 20 and 370. Lady Pavlova, 180. Chief's Deputy at $2. Quinella, 66. Exacta, 143.60. Trifecta, 1,027. Funny thing, I happened to notice that horse in the run coming towards the turn. Uh, he was back near last. Might have been in front of one horse, uh, Serpentine. And was he travelling? Now, when they turned for home, she had the option of going between two where there was a skinny run or coming to the extreme outside. She was travelling so well that she decided not to take the risk. She came to the extreme outside and uh, that horse, Regal Alliance, just gathered them up in 50 metres and had them well covered uh, by the 200. Yep, the victory salute. Three winners to Bernadette Cooper on a Saturday Metropolitan meeting. Back to Sandown, his elf. Thanks very much, John. Number three, Ruby Slipper. Beautiful looking filly. In fact, looks more like a colt. Beautiful, strong looking individual. And you can see why Robbie Lang hasn't got any queries whatsoever backing it up again today after winning at Mooney Valley during the week. It'll handle the ground, drop some three kilos on what it carried there. And uh, it really does look super. Very nice looking horse and as I say looks as strong as most colts do. Number one. Seven openers to a 20 to 4, one magic feather 410, sports brand 860, Diamond 23, Aussie 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 15, Chinoy at 29, Princely 28, seven Knickerbocker kids seven dollars, just imagine 15, nine can't tackle favourite for Scott Pollard, 261, 20, 10 interbank at 35 for Bernadette Cooper, King of Acapulco 76 and 13 to Sporting Chance, 221. Tips one, Magic Feather to beat nine, three and four. Race seven, the Welter at 3.40. And Sandown, race six, Ruby Slipper, the favourite, over Seek the Silk. Up now with Highbury, Mr Migraine. Seek the Silk goes in. Previous another win to Inca Muller. Inca Muller able to score. Number eight. Defeated six Lady Wild and three Corvain, eight six three in the previous. Blue Star took the Australian hurdle today, and Crafty Dancer took the steeple. And this is Ruby Slipper out of uh, gate number seven. Set to run. Racing. Ruby Slipper jumped away well. Uh, Highbury missed it about two or three lengths and Seek the Silk away fast with Call Me Sid. Windermall is easing back and further out is Arnside. Ruby Slipper up fourth in the early point, settling down Arnside from the outside. Works over to lead Ruby Slipper, Seek the Silk and Call Me Sid the fence. A length and a half, Deadwood City followed by Mr Migraine. A length and a half, Call Me Sid. Then Windermall further back in the race then came on the outside. 
would have been uh, Ulele, followed by Highbury and Fine and Dapper last of all. Up to the turn they race now, and over on the inside, it's West Quest Boy, which has got up on the inside with Seek the Silk. Uh, they're followed further out on the track by Arnside. Ruby Slipper coming at them quickly. Ruby Slipper out in the middle, and Arnside have got to the front now from Seek the Silk. Call me, Sid. Mr. Migraine, and down the outside is Deadwood City finishing hard, but Ruby Slipper broke clear from Arnside and Deadwood City. Ruby Slipper breaking away at a good effort by Ruby Slipper. She's too good. She wins two and a half. Deadwood City second. Third home Arnside, then win them all. Further back then came Eulalie. Further back in the race, call me, Sid, in company with West Quest Boy. Well back was Mr. Migraine. Seek the Silk dropped out with Highbury and Fine and Dapper near the tail. And the favourite home, three rubies, slip of Brett Preble, two dollars one thirty six. Deadwood City, fifteen seventy eight. Onside eight thirty. Pretty easy work for this one in fifty eight point one. Ruby Slipper winning well, and the judge calling on the photo for the miners. It's three. Number six has got second. Number six. Deadwood City and third goes to number eight Arnside three six and eight three six eight. It was pretty easy work for her again, and the three wins have uh, never never really seriously put her under any pressure at all. Uh, this filly, as we saw at Caulfield first up, then when she went to the Valley last Wednesday, she had uh, an easy run there just off the speed. She joined them very quickly, got a terrific turn of foot uh, for one at this time of the year off peak. And the Toads 3, Ruby Slipper, Brett Preble, $2, the win, one thirty. a play, 6, Deadwood City, $15.70, 8, Arnside, third, eight thirty. Four 4, officially 4th, that's uh, Windham All, Quinella, eighty four sixty. Exacta, $116, Trifecta, 3, 6 and 8, nine hundred eighty seven eighty. the first 4, 3, 6, 8, 4, $17,252.80, and, and the extra double, 8, and three, that was Inkamala and Ruby Slipper, 1740, special dividend, seven dollars. We have correct weight the Gold Coast on race six on six three five and one. Correct weight. Rose Hill Gardens. Uh, in fact, Magic Feather four dollars, Sports Brat eight dollars, down to Knickerbocker Kid at seven fifty. Over the page, we'll just check those under double figures here. Two eighty can't tackle a short price favourite, and the others are at long odds. What about this favourite, Wayne? John, I think one of the two favourites will win. No, Magic. Doing so well at the moment. Uh, she has a ride in the next at Sandown. Brave Chick, in fact, is the horse in question. Brave Chief, I should say. And here is Michelle with Alf Matthews. Well, Michelle, that was a lovely ride on Inca Muller. Can you do the same again on Brave Chief? That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, he's a horse that's got really good speed. Do you think you'll roll along in front again? Yeah, well, there is a lot of speed in the race, but um, Strong Barrier too, so if, hopefully if he just jumps to the front, they might sort of leave him alone a bit. Michelle, how have you found the track? Um, well, I've come, I've come to the middle of the track in that last race, um, and my horse handled it really well, so um, it doesn't feel too bad, but it's getting pretty chopped up on the corner. Right, oh, fair enough. OK, and you're also riding Lottie's Pride in the last race. Its form's not too bad. It's two runs this time in. Yeah, it hasn't been beaten far, and as you say, two runs this time in should be right ready to go. A horse she'll probably race fairly close to the leaders too? Um, yeah, she there doesn't seem to be a lot of speed in it, so she should be pretty handy. So the slower they go, the closer you can be? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and hopefully in front of the post. That'd be great. <laughs> Michelle, continue to ride well because you really are. All right, thanks. There she is, Michelle Payne, and uh, she told me to say hello, Marie. Sending a cheerio call to Sister Marie, I presume. So, we'll add to that, Marie, if you're watching, from all of us here, a big cheerio call to Great Kids, the Pains. Now, Can't Tackle, $3, Magic Feather, $4, Sports Brat, $6.70, and Knickerbocker Kid, $8.60. They're the fancied ones at uh, Rose Hill Gardens. We've got some interim divs, Cheltenham, previous race, and Glen West, 1170 and 370, identifiable 360, our fame at 170, Quinella 7320, and uh, the trifecta 458. Now, here's another one being replated, uh, this time at Rose Hill, and the horse in question is Just Imagine. Um, so there'll be a slight delay here. 
Doombin Race 7 and Bell Ball top rater. Big odds on Uni Tab, $12. Hot Riff second choice on the ratings ahead of Westward and Wan Mail. Now the market Hot Riff at 980, Paris Heartbeat 890, Bell Ball $12, Card Queen 12, Snow Hero 920, Wan Mo $6, Aloha Charm 42, and Lauren El Argy at $12. Westward, eight sixty and Maringo Mull eighteen dollars. Pourquoi fourteen. Scratch Picoline here for glory twenty seven. Armadramus at nine sixty. Foscat sixty four. Naz Princess at sixty four. And over to uh, Pompeian Tulip. Uh, that's a scratching. Now the farrier, swinging into action here to uh, replate. Just imagine on the off four. And uh, they work very quickly, uh, these race day farriers, under quite some pressure, I might add. Uh, they realise that the seconds are ticking away to TAB official starting time. In fact, they're past it now. And you can bet your life that the starter, Billy Dale, will be saying, come on, come on, hurry up, hurry up, we've got to get these away. Puts a lot of pressure on the farrier, whose job is intricate enough as it is. And he's, he's also well aware that the television camera in many cases is uh, taking close-up shots of his work. So I've got great regard for these tradesmen, these great professional tradesmen um, whose job is a back-breaking one, particularly in the hot weather. They do a terrific job under great pressure. Magic Feather, $4, Sports Brat, six fifty, Knickerbocker Kid, eight seventy. And we'll check over the page to Can't Tackle, who's just a little easy in the market, getting out the $3.10 now. But have a look at the wind pool on this race, will you? Here we are. It's a winter welter. 564,000. 564,000. Bearing in mind that Saturday afternoon is the biggest punting day of the week, of course. And uh, wouldn't some of the other codes... Uh, like to get a little slice of that sort of action. Can't tackle three dollars ten. Magic feather four ten. Sports brat six fifty. Knickerbocker kid eight seventy. In they go, and it won't be long before Just Imagine is ready to join them. So why don't we head to the hill and his Ian Craig? John's joining us now. John Tapp, thanks, Tappy. And 310 about can't tackle number 9 and 160 ahead of number 1. And that's Magic Feather, 410 and 180 resuming today, Magic Feather. Very interesting race, this one. Just imagine loosened a plate, and that is just about rectified now. And uh, we've only got about four of them to load. Previous one by Regal Alliance, number 10, beat eight, Lady Pavlova, seven, Chief's Deputy, and five ran fourth. Other winners, Timidity, Oakfield, Duke, Cheam, Gleam, and Warrior Trader, Bernadette Cooper, the winningest rider, three. Now, just imagine goes in riderless, and the favourite can't tackle, white, green diamonds, green stripe sleeves, red cap. Scott Pollard aboard, comes up to an outside gate. Can't tackle at 310 in New South Wales, 410 Magic Feather, and the delay caused by Just Imagine loosening a plate. Everything's ready with him, and they're all set to go. Main sprint of the day. Racing this time, Sports Brat missed it by a length or so. Magic Feather and Can't Tackle jump quickly with Aussie, Aussie, Aussie and settling. Can't Tackle from the wide alley, making a beeline across onto the rails. He's got a lot of speed, and he leads easily from...